Hey, what's good, boys and girls? BQ here, King of the Mountain Podcast, and we are talking about something good, something awesome in the world of Global Force Wrestling with one of my favorites, Eddie Edwards, went over to Japan and won the Global Honored Crown Championship in Pro Wrestling Noah. So when they initially sent their first group of guys over to Japan, it was James Storm, Moose, and Eddie Edwards. I thought it was really cool. And then the next time, Eddie Edwards went to Japan again. And then he went a third time. So I had said on the podcast, why don't they give someone else an opportunity to go to Japan? And now I kind of see it. They were building towards something. And, you know, when I knew he was going a third time, I did not know he was wrestling for the GHC title. So uh, he wins. I really want to see this match, too. Um, And I know... Noah Noah matches are usually pretty accessible. They always end up on Google Drive, but um, he beat Nakajima, and I understand he was the champion since 2016. So I can't even fathom in American wrestling someone still being a champion that was a, a champion in 2016. You know, those kind of long reigns don't really happen. Um, you know, right now at least they don't. You know, I, I mean, EC3 had a long one, but neither here nor there. I want to know, guys, do you want to see a rematch at Bound for Glory? Do you think that would be good? You know, I have not seen spoilers, red spoilers, anything like that. And I don't want any spoilers in these comments. But would you want to see a rematch at Bound for Glory between these two? Now, this gives Eddie Edwards something um, exciting and and uh, gives them something good to do. Because they kind of teased a feud with Congo Kong a little bit because Congo Kong jumped them jump them backstage. We don't want to see Congo Kong versus Eddie Edwards uh, long term. Maybe they have a, a match here, you know, upcoming upcoming set of tapings. But um, I want to see this rematch, and I want it to be a Bound for Glory. But there's a couple challenges here. They have to find a way to sell the match to the American fans for that to be important. And then they have to find a way to monetize it with the Japanese fans. So there are some... Um, there's some challenges here, but I'm I'm fully under the impression that Jeff Jarrett is. Uh, I mean, again, if dude, if you guys have seen a Global Force Amped anthology, like you you start seeing his vision of a global wrestling brand. So there's no doubt in my mind that he's not plugging away and trying to find what works. Now, with this being said, I didn't think Eddie Edwards was going to win the title because when we have people come over to us, especially Noah, all right, um, Murph Fuji did not get booked well he was not he he in most of his matches he didn't get that much offense and bothered me to no end like when he had the match with moose i was i shouldn't be this upset as a wrestling fan but i I was like oh my god he looked like a jobber in this match so he wasn't booked too well ishimori was booked a lot better he was in a super x cup made it to the finals and he's still here for this set of taping so he's you know back-to-back tapings and then you think of the guys in, you know, AAA, Phantasma and Drago, you know, they they weren't they weren't jobbers by any means. Drago got a, a win against Sammy Guevara, but you know, the guys weren't booked too well when they came over from these other companies. So I'm thinking Eddie Edwards is not gonna go there and win a title. And he won. He did it. He got the gold. So I wanna know two things in the comments. Number one, do you wanna see a rematch of Bound for Glory. Do you think it would be cool for the GHC title to be on the line in the United States? And number two, how would you feel? Would you be in support, I should say, of someone from NOAA Crash or Triple H coming over and winning gold at Global Force Wrestling? And, you know, they could do this. Ro the Great and I talk about it all the time. You know, you can have a guy... Uh, win a title and if he's not going to stick around for the next set of tapings he can drop it within the you know set of tapings and still hold that title for six weeks or whatever on tv so do you guys want to see that match of bound for glory and number two would you be in support of someone coming from another promotion and winning gold on in global force wrestling subscribe to the channel my peoples if you haven't already and we will talk to you guys soon peace